be, depending if it's raining or not, they're calling for rain today. Uh, if it's raining, we're going in the shop. If not, I got some work to do with the uh, donkey. We got to try to move some uh, product from out back in our gravel parking lot. We want to get that out of there and out on the pavement before the frost comes out of the ground and makes it a mess and impossible to get out. So I want to get that out. Ooh. So that's what's on the agenda for today. Um, yeah. So instead of rambling on, let's get going. I'd like to start off saying in no way am I putting any, any customer, blasting any customer on this. But what you see here, total time, me in motion, was approximately, I think it was eight minutes. This delivery took me almost 30 minutes to do. Between what, trying to knock, knock on our doors, trying to find, get the customer to come out, having to return to the vehicle, call the customer twice before he picked up, and then going, when I grabbed that second pallet that came over, waiting another five or five or so minutes for them to come out and move the vehicle and show me where they wanted it. If this was during the busiest time of the season, that can literally cost not just me, but other, other companies that do this, a full one or two deliveries. Please be ready. That delivery almost gave me a heart attack. I was, I took them off, set them down, and then I noticed one pallet didn't look right. So I got off the machine and counted. The pallet was missing 10 bags of coal. That was a coal delivery. Missing 10 bags. So I looked at the customer and I'm kind of freaking out a little bit going, how did I miss this? I told him, I said, look, you're, you're missing 10 bags. I gotta call the office and said, I might be back. Customer looked at me and goes, oh, don't worry about it. He goes, we come by and grab 10 bags off the pallet last night. Thank God. But it would have been nice to know. So I didn't have, so I didn't freak out like I did. So one thing I don't want to do is rip off customers. So let's head back to the shop and see what's next on the list of things to do. Well, now it's time to change the cogs on this. I gotta get in there and just start loosening things up and get things ready to pull out. Drain the oil out of the chain case. That's gonna be fun. That's gonna make a mess. Cause my plug is here and there's nothing below. Drain the oil into. So that is gonna bite big time. Well, this ain't getting it done. That should have been the first one I went with, I thought.
Yeah, just the week we still clean, guys. <laughs> I gotta say, I, I just, all of a sudden, I hear this noise. I'm like, what in the hell is that? The snow's gone bad. <laughs> this is getting fat. Yeah, the fat on this lifted some. Yeah, that's what I thought. Lock it up enough so that oil will drain out and through this. I'll show you. I need to block it up so I can get the oil. I gotta loosen these up, pull this out, and have the oil go down through that little tiny, teeny tiny hole right there. Right, right there. See that little hole? I'm gonna prop the back of the slide up a little bit and get that to uh, drain. I'll bring it back. And then I got the back of it blocked up a little bit. Got a slight slope this way. So I'm gonna crack these, let it slowly drain out into this little pan here I got. It ain't much, but it's something. The only question is, do I have enough capacity in that pan for the oil in this? I hope so. Let's see if I do together. I don't want it to come gushing out either. Um, I'm not liking this. This oil check thing here is loose. That's not what I wanted to see. There's no oil in it. Oh, I can't say there's no oil, but nothing coming out of that hole. It could be just below it. But that's kind of on the... It's kind of on the rusty side, ain't it? I know the guy that did this before. He didn't leave it that way. I know that for a fact. I know the guy that did this before. Oop, there we go. Pop, pop. No, that's not good. <laughs> Absolutely nothing in that chain case. Oop, get back here. Better than average. I should grab that one, move that one over so I make sure I can move this one. Sprockets off for of the ch chain drive. It's that big one on the bottom that's almost like it's where there was no oil in that in it. Created some rust. It's kind of seized on there, so it's being a little. I say a little bit of a pain, but quite a bit of a pain to get off. So I'll head back to the shop and get that done. Well. You're trying to figure out what that is. Those are the original, well, what's left of the original drive cogs. I got it out and I got the new ones on. Had to clean up the shaft and all that. I did finally get that off. Oh, I can't say I did, the owner did. But we got them all off, I got them all, all in secured. Now, get it back into that thing. Fun.